Hello, I'm Inspector Peter Ferry. I'm the local policing commander for Haverhill. It's the 22nd of July and this is the latest update for the Haverhill Policing News. First thing I've got to tell you about today is um, yesterday, that's Monday the 21st of July, we welcomed a new sergeant, a new SNT sergeant to Haverhill. It's Sergeant Matt Gilbert who was previously based at Bray St Edmunds. Matt Gilbert has spent many years at Haverhill as a constable so he knows the town really well. He's new to the role of SNT though so He's going to be learning the role for a couple of weeks and then he's going to be getting out to meet everybody, getting to meet you all. Um, really pleased to have him here. He's a really nice bloke, really good bloke to have on the team, so I'm pleased about that. The previous SNT sergeant, um, Gary Miller, he's been promoted to inspector, which I'm really glad about, and he started his new role in Ipswich yesterday. That's Monday the 21st. So good luck to Gary and thank you for all your help over the last couple of years. To tell you about some crime, we had another attempted burglary uh, at a garage on Saturday the 19th of July. This time it was in Old Road in Haverhill between the hours of 8am and 5pm. Nothing was stolen but £200 worth of damage was done by somebody that used a jemmy to try and uh, get under the door. Did you see anything suspicious in the area of Old Road in Haverhill? That's on the Chalkston Estate on Saturday the 19th of July between 8am and 5pm. If you did, and you can help the police, please ring 101 if you have any information at all and ask for PC Kevin Rolt at Haverhill Police Station. I'm going to tell you now about a violent incident that happened early in the morning on Sunday the 20th of July. A young male was attacked by a group of other males in Shetland Road in Haverhill. He was pushed to the floor and kicked to the head, causing a black eye. And this followed a house party in Shetland Road where an argument was believed to have got out of hand. If you saw this attack, or you can help identify who the offenders are, please call 101 and ask to speak to PC Sam Warvell at Haverhill Police Station. And lastly today, I'm going to give you an update on the Haverhill SNT priorities that were set back in June 2014 at our latest public meeting. The first priority set for the public then was cracking down on public drug use in Haverhill. So far we've had 38 high visibility patrols on the wreck, which was identified as one of the sites that people were particularly worried about. We've had 21 high vis patrols in Wortham Place and 15 high vis patrols on the aeroplane park. And so far we've had nine encounters in these areas, in other words nine occasions where police have had cause to go and speak to um, people in those areas about what they might be doing. We've had three stop searches. In other words, that's three times that the police have been so suspicious of what's been going on that they've actually searched the people that they've seen there. And we've had one cannabis seizure. So on one of those occasions, we actually managed to find some cannabis on somebody. The second priority that was set was reducing burglary dwellings and providing reassurance patrols in any hotspot areas. What I am pleased to tell you about is that the burglary rate in Haverhill has slowed right down again now since the arrest and remand of one particular offender. We believe that a lot of the burglaries were being, being uh, caused by one person uh, and since we have arrested that person the burglary rate has dropped right down so I'm delighted at that. In fact we only had one burglary in the whole of the Haverhill area last week and that includes all of the villages outside of Haverhill as well so I'm really pleased about that. We've carried out 29 high visibility patrols and that has mainly been on the Chalkston estate because that was the area that was hit particularly badly by the burglaries connected we believe to the person that's now been remanded. We've carried out seven encounters of people and also carried out one stop search in relation to um, burglary offenders. The third priority I'm going to talk to you about now is reducing the dangerous use of pedal cycles in the high street. So far we've had ten warnings given out by SNT officers to persons either seen cycling on the pavement or cycling the wrong way down the high street. And what I'd expect to happen is a warning to be given to somebody the first time that they're seen by an SNT officer uh, and a ticket to be given out if someone is caught a second time. There are specific offences, um, pedal cycle offences, that, that people can be given tickets for uh, and if they're seen committing an offence the second time, they're going to get a ticket. So in summary then, all three priorities are moving ahead. I'm pleased with all of them. Uh, high visibility patrols are being targeted at all three priorities that you decided back in June. So. I'm happy with the work so far. Thank you very much and we'll see you next time.